welcome back. I'm joined now by Keno Davis, the head coach of the Providence College Friars basketball team. Keno, thanks for coming down today. Yeah, it's great to be on. So we've got the Providence College Friars, 9-2 and two so far this season with a young team. I think many people out there, including Friar fans, are surprised by this result so far. Can you kind of talk about what's clicking with, you know, the veteran core and your freshmen? Yeah, I think with such a young team, you know, the youngest in the Big East and one of the youngest teams in the country, we really came in with a focus this year of just seeing if we could outwork our opponents and how hard we could play. So at times we don't have the execution we need, uh, but when you have that kind of energy from a young team, you know you're going to just keep getting better. For you personally, what has it been like to coach such a young team coming into the season? Obviously, when you came aboard, you had more of a veteran group. Um, any surprises, you know, growing pains that come along with uh, coaching such a young team? Yeah, well, I mean, there is. Uh, you know, you have to simplify everything, and so we're not uh, in depth as much as we would be on offense of, of running a continuity offense. Um, we've kept the plays pretty simple, and then on the defensive end as well. Uh, we focused in the locker room of trying to outwork our opponents uh, rather than the execution. I know the execution will come, uh, but if we keep that kind of intensity, I think this team will just continue to improve. Senior Marshawn Brooks, obviously, you know, having a great senior campaign right now. Has his leadership at all influenced their play? It really has. I think Marshawn's been one of our great leaders, not necessarily just on the court, uh, but the guy in the locker room where we, we try to get prepared for practice. Um, he remembers the teams we've played in previous years and how they're going to try to score, how we need to try to defend, and understands from a coaching perspective of our, our philosophy. And so uh, when he's able to put up his points and be able to be one of our better defensive players, uh, he really then leads not just by being in the locker room but by example as well. Another guy I think uh, a lot of people are turning to this season, Vincent Council, great sophomore season so far, had 16 assists against Brown, which I think tied a PC record. What has his play really done for the team this season? Well, I expected Vincent Council to have an outstanding year, I think, coming off of last season um, as a rookie in the Big East. Um, but I knew that the team would be more suited uh, around him because he's one of those guys that wants us to win. And it sounds pretty simple that, yeah, doesn't everybody want to win? But his first and foremost is to see if we can have a championship ball club and knowing that all the individual accolades and awards will come along with that if you're successful. And speaking of the Big East, obviously you have Big East action coming in two weeks or so. How are you going to continue having these guys play at such a constant high level? Well, I think one thing is that we've got better depth than we've had in the past two years. And so if a player isn't working as hard as they need to be, whether it's in defense or rebounding, we've got other guys that are wanting to get on the court. And there's not much difference between our starting players, our starting five, and our eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh guy on the bench. So um, it always uh, gives us a lot of competition in practice, but also gives us some options as coaches uh, during games. Now, obviously, you have Alabama uh, tomorrow at the dunk. You guys are 8-0 so far this season at the dunk at home. Uh, Alabama having kind of a wishy-washy wishy season so far. Uh, what are you looking towards? Where are you telling uh, your younger players about this team? Well, they're very talented. I'm not going to be surprised to see Alabama do very well in their conference. Uh, they've had a week off where they've been able to get back to practice and, and focus on improving their team. And so they're going to be as athletic a team as we'll see all year. Um, and if they're hitting on all cylinders, they're going to be a tough team to beat. All right, Kino, thank you for coming down again. All right, thank you very much. And again, PC will be playing tomorrow night at, tomorrow afternoon, that is, at the dunk. And we'll be back to wrap up the sports wrap in 90 seconds.